Did he even say what? Excuse me. I mean, I consider myself a really cool, easygoing person. In fact, I get along with everybody. And so you touch my food. All right, so apparently somebody's been going around the building playing pranks on everybody. People are starting to get a little irritated. They left an exploding ink pen for Regina. What in the world? I know good. Jason! Jason received an electric shock when he tried to use the restroom. Oh, Hell. Mm. Mm. And somebody's been going around eating people's sandwiches. I, for one, have a dentist appointment today and won't be around to find out how all of this goes. I've never been more excited for a root canal in all my life. Gotta go. Hey, calm down, down folks. Calm so down. Nice. Now, I'm aware that there's a jokester in our midst. In fact, I'm too aware. Regina, a little help? Oh my God, Dr. Ellis, what happened? So, our little jokester thought it would be funny to put a banana peel on the steps outside. And I slipped on it on my way out the door the other night. Okay, so what you plan on doing about it? I mean, do you know what it's like to have electricity shot up your ass? Actually, I do. I used to date a dominatrix. Oh my God. Okay, now look, you all know that I don't mind a little teasing here and there, but people are getting hurt and I don't know who's responsible. Dr. Ellis, these pranks are irresponsible and they're trifling. I was really looking forward to the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, folks, hold on. Now, I am going to get to the bottom of this. So starting right now, you all are under investigation. Detective Ellis is on the job. Nobody leave town. Leave town? I got vacations. Literally. Well, I haven't been a victim of any of the pranks that have been going on around the office. But I think it's because I'm known as the office sweetheart. I mean, I did make everyone their own personalized cupcakes last week, and everyone loved them. They were a big hit. That's it? That's it. Awesome. Well, you guys were great as usual. Oh, don't forget, I uh, made a homemade cheesecake. It's in the break room. When you guys are ready, just help yourselves. Um, so when did you notice it? About three and a half hours ago, and thank you for seeing me so quick. Let me go ahead and just look at it. Yeah. It's right here. You see that? Miss Diaz, this is a pimple. I know, but I read in some rare cases it could actually be something more serious. I'm aware of that, but I don't think that this is what this is. Should I start calling my family? What about a skin specialist? They could take a better look. Miss Diaz, no, no. I know, what about an herbalist? How much time do you think I have? Dr. Ellis, I'm in the middle of an exam with a patient. What do you want? Exactly. A good detective always catches his suspects off guard. Now, where were you last evening around 6 p.m.? I was leaving the building with everybody else. You like bananas? Bananas are good for you, but I heard that too many can actually cause, like, <sighs> Miss Diaz, please. Dr. Ellis, what do you want so I can get back to work? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. You... You know what? I got some truth for you. You want to know some truth? This place is the most dysfunctional place I have ever worked. And move out of the way, Morgan Freeman. You out here acting like you driving Miss Day. She didn't mean that. <laughs> Did I put the banana peel down for him to slip on? <laughs> no, I didn't but I'm starting to wish that I did. So Monica, why don't you tell me why you think Tyrone ate your sandwich? I'm not saying that he ate my sandwich. I'm just saying that the timing of it all was strange. 
Tyra, what do you have to say? I, I, can he not hear me? I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. You not gonna say anything? Cat got your tongue, buddy? Well, you know, maybe if I called upstairs and talked to your boss. Well, well, well Dr. Ellis, it, you don't have to do all that. It's actually, it, it's not that big of a deal. It's just what? a sandwich. Um, You're sure? Don't even worry about it. Me and Tyrone, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Glad it worked out. We good? Well, as much as I like what just happened here, we still have a culprit at large. Let's roll, partner. Yeah, I, but you know, you know what to do. Being a detective is about more than just solving crimes. It's about solving disagreements too. A lifelong friendship was born today because of me. All a day's work. Mother. Who put this on my back? Who put this on my back? Detective Ellis here. This is Deputy J. What seems to be the problem here? Dr. Ellis. Detective Ellis. Detective Ellis? Someone put this sign on my back. Oh, Regina, I knew it. Hold it right there. We've got a runner. You're literally right behind you. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold that. She's getting away. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Dr. Ellis wants you. Detective Ellis here. May I ask where you're coming from this morning? From the copy room. Why? Do you recognize this? Sure you do. You printed this and snuck up behind Jen and stuck it on her back, didn't you? No, why would I do something so childish? Just admit it. You are the office jokester, and you just shot ink in your own face just to throw us all off the train. This is ridiculous. I'm getting ready to go back to my desk. And Jason, you going along with this? Oh, no, he made me do it. Uh-huh. You can forget about dinner next week. But I'm not through with my line of questioning. So, the one time I get Regina to go out on a date with me, and this happened. If I did not need this job, I would roll him down the stairwell. It's okay, though. I'm gonna get my revenge. Okay, so I know we're all really annoyed with each other. So who do you think it is? Well, I've got my eye on one, but I need more evidence. I wish I could hear what they're saying. Well, let's just get closer. Well, don't you think they'll see us? Nah, they're so into their own conversation, they won't notice. As a matter of fact, here, oh. put that in front of your face, right there. Gotcha, gotcha. Good idea. I know who's behind the chaos in the office. Good, but why is the plant moving? But, but no one look, just follow my lead. I'm sorry, guys, but I can't continue to work under these conditions. Effective today, I quit. You know what? Upstairs needs a receptionist at the dentist's office. I quit as well. Well, I quit too because I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Y'all not about to leave me, so I quit too. Well, wait a minute. You guys can't just all quit just like that. I'm sorry, Dr. Ellis, but I can't work in this kind of environment. However, I do think we can all admit that whoever's been behind the pranks, they're a bit of a genius. Well, now I have to agree with you there. Whoever did this is pretty clever. They had to have known when Regina would leave her desk. They knew it would set Monica off. But the electric toilet, that's the mark of a true genius. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, I, Jason, I just don't know how you did it. Jason? P please. Jason isn't that creative on his best day. Now, I'll tell you how I did it. Now, first of all, you've got to have a battery that's strong enough to create a jolt that'll... Not only did he rig the toilet seat, but he's responsible for everything that's been happening to us. 
Wait, so who put the banana peel down for Dr. Ellis to fall on? I remember when we were leaving the other day that Dr. Ellis was shooting free throws with the banana peel. Joy, on the feed from Pippin, coming down for the last shot. It's gonna be a game winner. Sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> Here's the, the chart you needed. Thanks, Jen. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Gonna be for the game. Oh, well, get that letter. My guess is that he missed a trash can, forgot to pick it up, and slipped on his way out of the office. Congratulations! You're all a part of my team building exercise. Made for a pretty interesting day for us all, right? Right? Am I right? No. No, no you're not. No, you're not. Isn't someone going to help me down the stairs? No, no. yourself. You, 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 you can't just leave me up here like this. Hello? Guys? Okay, the joke's over. Hello? Hello?